Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. God got upset with you because why? Because you like to gangbang. You like to kill your own people, but you won't fight for your people. It's so easy to get another Mexican to kill another Mexican. But if you ask Mexicans to come together and take back their land, you won't do nothing. They got you scared. Your tails are tucked. Don't come up against me bucking up with that tough nonsense. If you tough, take your land back. That's right. If you tough, go against the police department and tell them to stop killing your people. If you tough, tell them we don't want no little village. We want our damn continent back. That's right. You selling for a little village. If you big and bad, tell them to give you your continent back. Tell them to give your country back. That's right. You think you're so cool because you got a little village in the Walgreens. This whole continent belongs to you once upon a time. But y'all lost your strength. Y'all say y'all believe in God, but then you celebrate Halloween. When y'all know it's wicked, y'all know it's evil, it's satanic. Celebrating Halloween is literally satanic. That's right. And y'all know it is. Y'all got skulls over here that's painted. Celebrating the day of the dead. God says he's the God of the living, not the dead. That's right. But y'all will follow this Bible at the same time worship skulls and bones. Y'all don't see something a little off about that? Hey, my brother, hermano. Victor, let me ask you a question. Do you know that our sons and daughters are being put in cages on the border right now? You didn't know about that? You don't know what ICE is doing to our sons and daughters right now? Victor, Victor, are you Mexican? Yeah. You Hispanic, right? So do y'all know that on the border right now, they calling y'all illegal aliens. Y'all know that, right? How can they call you an illegal alien when this is your land? How can you settle for being called an alien on your own land? You say what? I can't hear you. Come on, I'm your brother. Come build with me. I'm asking the question. How do you let them call you an illegal alien on your own land? This land belongs to your people. Right here, look at the image we got. That's your people that they put in slavery. The conquistadors did that to your, your brothers, your sisters, to you. What do you think about it, though? You don't like to talk about it. Okay, let's not talk about it. Let's do something. Let's do something about it. Nothing. Nobody got nothing. They don't want to think about it or talk about it, bro. How do we expect to change it if we don't want to talk about it? Read. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. Because we all mess up. We all sin. We all fall short. So God said, if you sin against me, read. And thou be angry with them. Newsflash, you so-called Mexicans, God is upset with you. God is upset with you because you follow behind a white Jesus and that's not in the Bible. That's right. Jesus Cristo es negro, no blanco. That's no right. blanco. I hate to tell you that, but it's the truth. It's reality. When Jesus Christ walked the earth, he was a dark-skinned man with woolly hair. That's Jesus. right. Before the conquistadors and the Spaniards raped your people, y'all were black as well. I know y'all hate it. Look at dirty, dark skin. Y'all once were like this as well. Dirty, nappy hair. This is your people. Bring it out. Y'all gotta hate to love it. If you go back to your great grandmothers, I bet you they was as black as me with the same nappy hair. Right. That's right. Tell me I'm lying. Read. And they'll be angry with them. And God got upset with you because why? Because you like to gangbang. You like to kill your own people, but you won't fight for your people. It's so easy to get another Mexican to kill another Mexican. But if you ask Mexicans to come together and take back their land, you won't do nothing. They got you scared. Your tails are tucked. Don't come up against me bucking up with that tough nonsense. If you tough, take your land back. That's right. If you tough, go against the police department and tell them to stop killing your people. If you tough, tell them we don't want no little village. We want our damn continent back. That's right. You selling for a little village. If you big and bad, tell them to give you your continent back. Tell them to give your country back. That's right. You think you're so cool because you got a little village in the Walgreens. This whole continent belongs to you once upon a time. But y'all lost your strength. Y'all went away from this Bible and God said this, read. 
If they sin against thee, well, there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them. And God got angry with you Mexicans. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. He did what? And deliver them to the enemy. He did what? And deliver them to the enemy. God delivered you so-called Hispanics to the enemy. You wonder why the white man came and took your land? It's because y'all full of hatred for your own people. Y'all hate your own people. So God said what? Read it again. And deliver them to the enemy. God delivered you to the enemy and he delivered the enemy to you. The Catholic Church is your enemy. That's right. Whether you want to believe it or not, the Catholic Church was set up by the dead white man that put your people in slavery. That's right. That put your people in slavery. So you can miss me with the tough stuff. If you tough, take your land back. Read. So that they carried them away captive. They did what? That they carried them away captive. You Mexicans are captives right now. Y'all are slaves. You ain't nowhere near free. You think you're free because you can walk outside. You can't even do that. Because if ice show up right now, you scatter like roaches when the lights come on. That's right. Let ice pull up on the block right now. Y'all going to scatter in the Walgreens like roaches. But then want to come out here tough, gang banging and all that. If you tough, take your land back. If you tough, go get your sons and daughters out those cages right now. Show me you bad. Read. So that they carry them away captive. God carried you away captive. Unto the land of the enemy. Hey, my brother, if you a so-called Mexican, you an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. You ain't Mexican, you ain't Hispanic or Latino. You a sleep Israelite. You a destroyed Israelite. You blacks too, my black sister across the street, y'all are the Israelites. That's right. Y'all ain't African American, y'all ain't color, y'all ain't Negro, y'all ain't none of that. The same way that they ain't brown, they ain't no wetbacks, they ain't border hoppers, they ain't none of that. They are God's chosen people. That's right. We believe it, why you don't believe it? You can miss me with the tough stuff. You, If you tough, take your land back. Y'all let the Catholic Church take your sons and molest them, but you want to be bad on the streets. Half of y'all so tough because you was touched. We are here to bring you the truth. The Catholic Church was set up by the devil. They molest kids in there. How do you continue to send your sons and daughters there? The Bible, in the, the Bible is against molestation. The Bible is against man-on-man sex. Homosexuality is a sin according to the Bible. That's right. If you a real gangster, take your land back. Y'all set up for a little village in the Walgreens. If you bad, take your land back. Right. Y'all let these people call y'all aliens. Give me limitations real quick. Let me take this five and one. I'm going to show you that this Bible is about you so-called Hispanics. So we are here to show you you guys chosen people. Let me take this five and verse one. Y'all are not Mexicans. You're not Latino. You're not Hispanics. You're not no Cholo. You're not Mexican-American. You're not Latinx. Y'all got ten different names for one people. Y'all are the Israelites, the children of Issachar. That's who you are, that's who you be. Read. The book of Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 1. Let's read this prophecy about the so-called Hispanics. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Back in the day, you so-called Hispanics cared about your people. Y'all cared about each other, and y'all actually had a backbone. Back in the day, your forefathers was really tough. They was really bad. You know why? Because they stood up against the white man. They stood up against the devils that put them in cages. They did something about it. Stay and listen, bro. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance. Our what? Our inheritance. The Bible says our inheritance. This, your inheritance, so-called Mexican, was North America, South America, Canada. My brother, we bring in our history about the so-called blacks and Hispanics. Right now we're reading the history about the Mexicans' inheritance that they gave away. That they gave away. Because you know that this land used to belong to Mexicans, right? You think they tough if they let somebody take a land from them? If you a real man, stand up and do something about it. Don't do something to me. Take your land back from the people that got you in slavery right now. Read. Our inheritance! Because this land is your inheritance too, bro. Because guess what? What's your name? Jason. My name Joe. What we are here to do is to show the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are one big old family. That's right. But what comes with family? Hatred. Brothers hating brothers. Sisters hating sisters. We hate each other, but love the people that put us here. So these people take everything from us, put us in slavery, and we love them, and we hate each other. You think that that's smart or destroyed? Destroyed. We destroy it, right? Do you care at all? Okay, so you willing to do something about it? We'll see. Read. 
our inheritance is turned to strangers. It's turned to who? It's turned to strangers. So the Bible called the so-called white man a stranger. The white man is a stranger to this land. Right. This land belongs to you, my brother, my Mexican brother. This land belongs to you, my so-called Hispanic brother. Brother, read. Our houses to aliens. Our houses to who? Our houses to aliens. So the white man like to call the so-called Mexicans aliens. Watch this, Jason, read it again. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our land is turned to strangers. Our houses to aliens. What do they call Mexicans? Illegal what? Illegal immigrants and illegal aliens. They call them illegal aliens. Newsflash, so-called Mexicans, the Bible calls the white man an alien. That's right. Because the white man is foreign to this land. This land don't belong to him. This land don't belong to the so-called Spaniards. Y'all not Spaniards. Y'all speak Spanish. Y'all not Spanish people. Read. We are orphans and fatherless. Y'all are orphans or fatherless. The same thing is being repeated today because guess what? Your children are being taken away from their fathers. The fathers are being put in prison houses and the kids are being put in cages and wrapped up in aluminum foil to stay warm. And what are y'all doing about it? We lining up for tacos celebrating Halloween. What are we doing about our sons and daughters being taken right now? We want to game bang with the Latin King, the Latin Count, the La Raza, the MS-13. What about our brothers and sisters in cages right now? That's right. Y'all let these white people trick y'all and tell y'all that y'all different. I'm sitting here looking at y'all right now. Y'all all look the same to me. Short, little wide, stocky, but all look the same. But y'all let them give you a gold flag, you get a blue flag, you rock your hat to the left, you rock your hat to the right, and we're going to be enemies. News flash, y'all are one nation of people, you so-called blacks and Hispanic. Whether you Mexicans want to believe it or not, y'all are the light of the world. That's right. God caused y'all the light of the world. I know y'all don't see it now. Y'all let this white man bow your head down. Pick your head up and be a man. Y'all supposed to be leaders on this earth. I look at my Mexican brothers and I see destruction. Y'all let these white y'all let these white men fold y'all up. Y'all let these white men destroy y'all. Y'all gotta stand up on your feet and be men again. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 